Thank you. We begin with breaking news from the Castaic area. Mark Kono is overhead in Sky 5 HD. Mark? Uh, yes, that's right, Eric. Good morning to you. Here we are coming to you from the Castaic area. This is going to be the Chiquita Canyon landfill right off the 126 freeway where detectives uh, from LAPD's robbery and homicide division as well as other agencies such as the LA County Sheriff's Department and the LA County Coroner's Office have gathered here in a particular section of the landfill here to search uh, for the missing woman. Uh, her name is Heidi Plank, who has been missing since October 17th, so nearly a month and a half ago. She was last seen uh, walking in or around an apartment complex on uh, Hope Street in downtown L.A., again, last uh, seen on October 17th and reported uh, missing by her ex-husband some three days later here. So, again, investigators now, uh, following up on leads, have uh, come to the Chiquita Canyon, Chiquita Canyon landfill where they are in the process of uh, excavating uh, certain parts of the landfill here, and they are laying down some of that material in an orderly fashion and will likely send the dogs in to uh, sniff out what might uh, turn out to be some remains at some point here. They do expect to be here for the next seven to ten days. But again, the Chiquita, Chiquita Canyon landfill, where the ongoing search for Miss Heidi Plank continues. So they think they've got reason to believe that her remains could be there. So the article says the search for 39-year-old mid-city mother... I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Mid-City mother who's been missing for more than a month has taken detectives to a landfill on Monday morning. Investigators served a search warrant to ex excavate part of the Chiquita Canyon landfill on Henry Mayo Drive as they look for the apparent remains of Heidi and any related evidence in the case. Her last known sighting was October 17th, where she was captured on video walking her dog in downtown Los Angeles. The dog was later discovered on the 29th floor of a high-rise apartment building. Uh, for those of you who've seen the Heidi videos that um, I've covered before and that Gray has talked about, this is a very strange case. Um, it says forensic evidence was located inside the building, which led detectives to believe an incident occurred, resulting in her death. So we still don't know who she was connected to inside the building, but there was evidence that led them to believe that she may have died within that high-rise building. Uh, officials have not indicated how she might have died, nor have they released information about the forensic evidence that they've uncovered. Police say that the missing woman's 2017 Range Rover was found on November 4th in a different residential parking garage several blocks away from the Hope Street apartment complex. It's unclear why Heidi was in the downtown area. Hours before that, she had gone to her 10-year-old son's football game in Downey and left early. She, she seemed agitated. She might have been a bit antsy. She left with her dog, and she just walked up to us and said, I'm going to go. This is according to her ex-husband, Jim Wayne, who reported her missing on October 20th. He believes her disappearance is possibly related to her work at Camden Capital Partners, as her boss has been charged by the Securities and Exchange Commission in connection with an alleged $43 million tribal bond scheme. The SEC con contacted him, Jim, four days after his ex-wife vanished to inquire about Heidi's boss and the company. A search warrant was served by Los Angeles police and federal agents at the missing woman's home in late October, and it may have been related to the fraud investigation. Police are still gathering leads in the case and stress that there is currently no suspect information. The department's elite robbery homicide division is investigating the case and asking anyone who has information related to her disappearance to call them at 213-486-6840. And you can also watch uh, the other video that we did at the beginning of this to see more details on the boss and the connection that could possibly be there.